Hi there, I'm Tyler. I'm Bats. And we are Bird Suns Inc. Yep. We are playing some more Hive Swap. We just found some batteries. They're probably not the right ones, but uh... We're gonna try combining them anyway. Yep. Wait, can we? Uh, uh click on... That and... Flashlight. These batteries are so huge, they don't even begin to fit. Like, fitting a round peg into a round hole that's a bit smaller than the peg. <laughs> You'll need some D-cell batteries. Damn. Uh, but they'll probably be useful. Okay, I just noticed. Look at that fucking wolf's face. Yeah. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, what was that? A beanbag chair. Super comfy and thankfully not filled with real beans. <laughs> you could take a nap. <laughs> but you've kind of got a lot going on right now, you know? Do you think they actually originally had beans in beanbag chairs? I mean, that's what it would imply, I guess. Because they, they would feel like they got a lot of beans in them. Yeah, that's true. Huh. I just feel like that wouldn't be as comfortable as the little little soft foamy Alex, things they yeah. use. Speaking of which, we should get some beanbag chairs. Oh, I would love that. Can you imagine just like recording stuff, like playing the games? <laughs> or yes. Actually, yeah. Okay. Uh, <laughs> that is stretch goal for our setup is beanbag Invest chairs. Invest in the beanbag chairs. <laughs> not that expensive, I don't think. Probably so. Not. Yeah. When we do a Patreon, that'll be one more <laughs> stretch goal. <laughs> It's a bear that your paw shot and turned into a trophy. Now all his friends who come in this room will think, Oh, this guy shot a bear. Okay. Except he doesn't really have any friends and he's never here. So it's just a nice big horrifying thing for you to deal with. <laughs> Fun. One of your paw's recent victims. You love animals. He loves killing animals and turning them into ghoulish trophies, celebrating his victory over nature. Like It's weird, because I feel like the whole, like, the hating killing animals... Like, like most things, depending on how you are with it, can come off as you're being annoying or not. Yeah. If that makes sense? Like, because, like, if you're getting someone's face and, like, being, like, you that's wrong, like, let, you know, that kind of thing. But, like, I don't know if it's the voice, like, the voice you're doing <laughs> or not, but, like, she's just coming off as, like, genuine and good and stuff like she that. And not, like, to, she, she just loves animals. animals one. Yeah. It's not, like, hating you, putting you down because you want to, I don't know. Yeah. It's funny. I say that too much, I gotta stop saying it's funny. Yeah, big man, as long as he has a big stupid gun. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Uh, what's that? Mm -hmm. oh, do you want to try walking over there? Let's try go over in here first. Here? Oh. There's so much more over what? here. <laughs> There's a whole other part of the room. We were taking sexy lamp to the next level. Sexy lamp? I mean, it's got a power cord coming from Yeah, the no, is sexy lamp a thing? Yeah. What 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 is? I don't. Uh, what's a sexy lamp? I don't know. There's like this this like trope of like a lamp that's got like d like legs. Hmm. Just I don't know. It's very weird. In like anime? I don't know. Not anime. I don't know where it came from, but weird. Yeah. I've never heard of sexy lamp, but that is indeed supposed to be a sexy lamp. And what the fuck is? It's a walrus with a hat <laughs> and a tiger body. Oh no, oh, that's it's a, chair. a chair. Okay. <laughs> Oh, there's a there's a little monster in the yard. A little molester in the yard? I said monster. Oh, monster. I thought you said there's a little molester. I'm like, no. that is not something you say with a cute voice. That's not good at all. Bats. I will eventually call you bats, I swear. Someday. All right. Let's take a look at these things. All right. Okay. The ladies in these paintings are eerily beautiful, although maybe everyone would look like that in blue. Hmm. The lamp, goodness. You'd like to meet the lady who modeled for it someday. Actually, I think this is a. These are from Homestuck, also. Really? Yeah. Hmm. I can see that. At least the blue portraits. Hmm. Weird. Yep. One wonder why. Like why blue? Just no real reason. <laughs> Looks kind of cool. As far as I remember. Like yeah. I like I feel like you only ever see things like black and white sepia or like normal or whatever. You know what I mean? Yeah. But like, see, I can't get over that wolf's face. Just look at this thing. <laughs> it's so great. I'm going to put that as my uh, icon on Twitter or something. Uh, but, like, blue is interesting. It looks kind of cool. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Oh. I can't click on the weird-ass walrus. Dang. Let's click on little monster. Can outside? Uh, oh. I don't think we can do anything outside, oh. which makes sense. <laughs> it's a reno. All right, that's I as far as we go, I think. We're, oh, we can oh. walk. Oh, there's so much there's here. <laughs> I like, like I like this, but I like bite-sized areas too. This lamp makes you blush brighter than the lamp itself. <laughs> are, are you okay? I got hiccups. Oh, okay. 
You can drink water if you need. Uh, I don't think it'll let us go outside. I'm wrong. Oh. Okay, I'm gonna gonna go back here and just turn your little smile was just just the most precious <laughs> thing. These used to be stacked neatly on the shelves, but your big dog came clambering through and st slammed right into them. Oh. They tumbled everywhere. Oh no. That was about three years ago. You aren't great housekeepers. <laughs> they haven't even given the dog a name. Hmm. Yeah. That's terrifying. <laughs> You've always enjoyed this painting, particularly because the lion looks so alive. Hmm. Whoever painted it must have a very good imagination. Either that, or they painted it very, very fast. Both. <laughs> uh, nothing else around Maybe here. Bear? bear. The teddy bear outpatient clinic is for stuffed animals <laughs> who require treatment, but not an overnight stay. <laughs> it's adorable. It's not just for stuffed bears, of course. It was named for its founder and chief physician, Arsala Teddy Bear. Mm, that's cute. <laughs> Less cute, this bear clock with wings. Boy, your pog is really inventive with this taxidermy, huh? What a ghoul. Like, props on the... What, like, the, the imagination and the, <laughs> you know, the skill, but yeah. at the same time, I would not want a stuffed bear clo a grandfather clock. Just yep. Maybe that's just me. All right. Uh, was there anything else in, like, the first view of the room that we missed? So I think we're done. Yeah, uh, let me... We're done. We've... Done there, done here. I think we there's a door oh, we can that's click right. on. Yep. Right click there. That stuff. Okay, maybe we can't click on the door. Oh, yeah, go back. Should we try click? Does the door oh. look? You can't tell if it's if it's no if you can't tell if the noises <laughs> you hear are from the monsters or the wind. It's either some particularly whooshy monsters or some really groany wind. Whooshy monsters. Whooshy. Leaving the protection of your home seems like a bad idea. Might be creatures and weirdos ahoy out there. Alright, so that goes outside. Yeah. If you think you'll stay inside, but your chances of meeting creatures and weirdos, we weirdos Weird. are still pretty good, honestly. I mean, yeah, have you seen... I want to know if this is an actual creature in this in this world, or if they just put a deer head on a bear body with deer legs and... Ant oh, I, head I would imagine it's just put together. <laughs> Never know. It is Hermsterk. Yeah. Fucking lion or the tiger chair. Yeah. All right. Walk. Waka waka waka. Okay. So I think we're the only place we can go this is, is this in room. the kitchen, yep. which probably leads to the study. Um, Maybe. Hopefully. Uh, Maybe. Look. You visualize all the delicious items that could be. Sorry. I <laughs> They could be in the cool embrace of the refrigerator, but are not. Let's eat some food. It's empty. Oh. Food shopping has become sporadic of late. Turns out tipsy babysitters are fairly bad at responsibilities. Yeah. I don't know why I said that like I have experience. <laughs> I don't. But <laughs> all my babysitters were drunks. Uh, oh. Is Roxy a drunken homestuck? Yeah, something like that. Okay. It, how old is she in Homestuck? Is this another one where it varies? Yep. God damn it. Because, like, seeing the character designs in Homestuck, they all are small. Yeah. So, like, I'm, I, I just think of them all as, like, young. Yeah. But I don't know if that's actually the case. Well, in, uh, in, so in, in the first thing of Homestuck, mm -hmm. the second set of kids appear as, like, older, like, parents or guardians of the, the kids okay um and then they're like the they're like teenagers in the second thing okay so are they do, are they visibly yes a bit larger than yeah. the other characters okay mm -hmm. so there's a distinction between like adults and kids in yeah. terms of size because i feel like i've only ever seen the the small size yeah, so yeah. i was never sure little sprites yeah phone or fax machine the power is off and as such your fax machine is basically useless this is an unacceptable state of affairs i'm curious like how many people like kids nowadays know what a fax machine is because mm, yeah. like it's not a like with e like it was a thing for but then email just kind of made it like you don't need a fax machine yeah. you just send your stuff to people pretty much do we try snacking Oh yeah, we tried snacking. Okay. There was nothing in the in the thing because That's sporadic right. yep. buying. Oh jeez. 
Look, you're not saying you never have home-cooked meals. Your babysitter is a pretty good chef, even. <laughs> Lost Chinese boxes. It's just, well, none of you like doing dishes. And the nice thing about takeout is you can just eat it right out of the boxes and throw the boxes away. That's very true. <laughs> Sounds like you. <laughs> of course, none of you really like taking out the trash, either. Also sounds like you. Wow. Uh, okay. Uh, All right. This radio is really calling to us, but I want to check out other Look stuff. The... Oh. oh, there's the, the office. Ah, uh, yeah. All right, let's see if there's anything over here. Okay, Home Sweet Home has made me think of this game called Sweet Home, hmm. which was originally Japanese exclusive, but it was for, like, the NES. But it was a um, the precursor to Resident Evil. Hmm. Uh... Long story short, we should play Sweet Home sometime. Because <laughs> it, it's hear like the clock ticking now. Oh, you can. Yeah. Gotta be really quiet. Gotta be very quiet. We're hunting clock clo clocks. <laughs> I wanted to say it with like the lisp, we but are like hunting batteries. There we go. That's better. I wanted to say clocks with the lisp, but it was gonna come out as cocks, and I'm just like, <laughs> I don't want to hunt cocks. <laughs> All right. <laughs> uh, if we look outside. Okay. Look. There are monsters out there, watching, working up an appetite. That's eerie. Yeah. Open the window. With all those monsters out there? You think you'll leave it shut? No, open the window. Let the bats fly in. Also, you don't actually know how to open this window short of breaking it. Uh, why, why'd we get the option to open I mean, you can try. <laughs> That's true. Throw the, uh, the, the flashlight. The backyard used to be so much more awesome before the monster showed up. <laughs> I'm sure it did. You really don't want to go out there right now. Tempting though it is to go rake more leaves. Hmm. Ah, the struggle of the monster brother leaf pile enthusiast. You keep meaning to start a zine. What? <laughs> about your... Oh, about your monster your bother leaf, leaf pile, pile enthusiasm? enthusiasm. Uh, okay. <laughs> Alright. Also, I read leaf pile as leaf pie, and it, I'm just like, what kind of... That's a little a... weird. Yeah. Alright, let's, let's click on this radio because it clearly wants us to. The sound you've heard since you entered the kitchen grows louder as you approach. The awful static is like nothing you've ever heard, and you want to go back to not hearing it as soon as possible. You turn the radio off. Okay. It's off, and it'll stay that way. Huh. Can we get batteries? <laughs> oh, yeah. The box is ever right. Your babysitter batteries. has just really atrocious taste. You're only 14, and even you can tell this is just really crummy. <laughs> uh... Look. Hmm. The radio is clearly, although weirdly functional, despite not being plugged in. You might be onto something here. Hmm. I'm guessing batteries. You opened the battery compartment. Let's take them. Yay. Okay, good. If this radio didn't need batteries to make those noises, you'd have to upgrade the spookitude to business class spookitude. <laughs> and frankly, you can't afford that. This is just adorable. <laughs> All right. Jackpot, D-cells. You can never have too many batteries, never in too many different sizes either. Cool. So we have the stuff for the flashlight? Yeah. Wait, which one's the D-cells? Uh, the ones oh. that say D. Okay. <laughs> Another electric device successfully powered through clever manipulation of resources. Light weaponry. <laughs> uh, I get it. In yeah. your immediate environment, you are on fire. Oh god, you're on fire! With your flashlight fully functional and in fit fighting form, you feel significantly better equipped to handle most low-light environments, and also to beat the bejesus out of any of these creeps to get too close. <laughs> so you feel like you don't need batteries to make your flashlight a weapon, but maybe they make it heavier, I don't know. Oh yeah, they do. Like, those batteries are pretty heavy. Yeah. And like, holding a batteryless or like, a, 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 a flashlight without batteries versus one with, it, does, it is heavier. It is a lot, yeah. But like... I like how she she's completely against guns, but she'll beat the hell out of something with a blunt weapon. Yep. <laughs> Although that's a last resort, of course. Okay. <laughs> yeah. All right, fair enough. So, like, we don't actually have to go into the office. Uh, I feel like we should. Well, <laughs> what is that? Look. This mummy is currently blocking your access to the rest of the house. He's been here ever since your fall left him here months ago. Turns out it's not supposed to be re read as paw, it's supposed to be P.A. <laughs> P.A. <laughs> Yeah, not a lot, of, not a lot of chance you, of you being able to move Pharaoh Napoleon over here. <laughs> Let's go into this room. Oh. Oh, that's that's oh, creepy. Spooky music. We're supposed to go up to the attic, aren't we? I think so. Oh, no. Yes. Because the oh, we need the key. Yeah. Yeah. It's a machine designed to take your clothes and wash them. You call it a washing machine. 
It serves its purpose admirably on the rare occasion a human being is willing to cooperate. <laughs> oh. okay, well. All neat and folded. Oh. <laughs> Just kidding. This is obviously dirty. <laughs> really? Your pop brought this home as a souvenir. There's nobody inside it. It's kind of like a metaphor, I guess. Oh. What? <laughs> Her paw is empty inside. Oh. It's a depressing metaphor. Oh. <laughs> Eh, you're not sure you want to start down the road of analyzing your life as if it were a work of fiction. That's kind of a f side note, I guess. When it, the analyzing remind me. So you know how, like, in school and stuff, when you read books, you're supposed to really, like, analyze this stuff as you go? Yeah. I don't actually analyze things as I go. Yeah. I only, like, Just actually... go back and look at them. Well, that, and also, like, I analyze through discussion. Yeah. So, like, if you bring up a point, I'll start analyzing, I'm like, oh, okay, but, like, if you're like, what do you think about this? Or do you think this represents, or what do you think this represents? I'm like, <laughs> I, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, definitely. It, yeah. All right, so what else is down here? That's such those, a stern face. Those hula, hula. statues. Yeah. A souvenir from your pa after his trip to Hawaii. He's been exploring the Pacific a lot lately for some reason, or so he mentioned offhandedly a few years ago. Jeez. You assume he's still doing that due to you not having any fresher data, or particularly caring one way or another where the hell he is. Man, she's like, it's like, it It almost feels like it's been escalating a little bit, like her, her, like, just, it started out just like, he's gone, and now it's just like, I don't care. Yeah. You know, it's, it's, yeah, it's interesting. I heart mustaches. Same. Your babysitter sometimes cracks into your pa's special reserve, and she tends to do it down here, so you and Jude don't see. You aren't really sure what to say about it, or if you have you even have any business saying anything about it at all. Oh, Betty Crocker. Where? Oh, yeah, what? Why is that a, a, such an important character? I don't know! I'm so confused by that! I don't remember! Uh, the, the, uh, the, whatchamacallit, the family tree we're looking at, or Bats was showing me, and, like, Betty Crocker's at the top, and I'm so confused by it. Uh, bat. <laughs> Forgotten skiing stuff. No basement is complete without it. In your extremely limited experience. I... Have I ever had a basement? I have had a basement. <laughs> Maybe it's because you grew up in a house where nobody really cooks, but you have no idea what to do with these cooking implements. Food. The great mystery. <laughs> well, I wonder if you can find a... With the... your pot... Hmm? Oh, I was just gonna say, I wonder if you can find the cooking material so you can do something easy pick up. Oh, that'd be funny. With your pa's strange affinity toward the Betty Crocker brand ever apparent, this musty old junk mainly consists of all sorts of cooking implements, ranging from the familiar to the enigmatic. His fascination probably stems from being related to her. <laughs> oh. Really now, you can tell what a whisk is for, but some of this stuff looks downright unethical. <laughs> it's also in your way. You can't reach the circuit breaker. Oh. I don't think we're meant... Like, did we have to... Oh. That's cool, because, like... The power went out, but yeah. like we didn't, it didn't tell us, hey, go look for a way to find it. We just kind of we just needed the flashlight, yeah. But we're stumbling upon like a possible way to do it. Yeah. Trying to move one box and the whole pile is liable to come tumbling down on you. You mm. need to find some way to get them all moving at once. Shake them up somehow. A controlled tumble. That's the ticket. Huh. Gee. The washing machine. Our tap shoes. Oh yeah. <laughs> Where we go? Pa loves his blue lady's portrait so much, he keeps redundant backup scattered around. Because it's okay if you ignore something supposedly precious to you, as long as you're paying attention to something kind of similar in another location, right? Hmm. No? Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> you decide not to pull on that psychological thread, because you have important work to do. And who needs that crappy old blowhard anyway? It's great that she keeps being like, oh, this... this Anal analytical as or analyzing part of my life. We don't need Let's to pull not that. Let's think about that. Yeah. <laughs> I kind of homestuck. I think does a little bit of that too. Really? Like when I'm talking to Rose, and she'll be like, "Oh man, maybe this is because of this thing in your life," and they're like, "Okay, we don't have time for that." <laughs> yeah. Okay, so uh, I think that's everything down here. So let's try the tap shoes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh no! Oh no! <gasps> oh. 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 Are we going to be able to turn the lights on? Spooky. Spooky. Spooky, scary, homestead character. <laughs> Look. You cleared the boxes away with your fancy footwork. 
Now just give the breaker a tug or whatever. I actually forgot we had the shoes. <laughs> you flip the breaker and... Nothing. Oh. 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 What's happened? Oh no. Uh oh. Oh, oh, that's not good. Well, that was a spook. That was a spook. Spooky. We gotta get out of here. Oh, shit. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're okay. striping. What are we doing? We're striping. What's striping? This what? is strife. What, what do I do? You... I don't know. Click on it? You've got no chance of beating this thing. You gotta get away. Step on it. Okay. Um. Uh. What, what do I... I don't. I. What do I do? I don't. I'm so. Do I. Okay. Oh. Uh. Scuffle and scoop. Or shuffle and scoot. Scoot. Hot stepping. Hot stepping. Room where. The room where it's lapping. <laughs> Disobedient serpent. Oh. I'm so confused. Uh. Try, try the ballet shoes? Okay. You can run away from it? Graceful, Graceful abscond. abscond. Yay! Prima abscond Joe. <laughs> okay. Oh. <laughs> God, that up. was interesting. Alright. Is, is that a thing? I'm guessing that's a thing in Homestuck? Yeah. That sort of like silly combat text. Oh! That happened, uh, I got like, with him and his dad with the yeah, cake. Yeah, with the cake, yeah. Okay. I was like, this seems familiar, but... Power back on. You're doing, or you're doing, or psyops of encroaching forces. Over. Give you back light, only to snatch it away. Described hypothetical, very cruel. That's a lot of words that didn't quite make sense. <laughs> <laughs> Dealing with sick operatives. Over. Basi uh, it's basically saying like, did some, did you turn it on, or did some, did the opponents, did the opponents turn uh -huh. it on just to turn it back off? Yeah. To fuck with you. No, it was just me, criminy dude. Criminy. Crimmy crickets. <laughs> that snake monster is down in the basement, by the way. I managed to get past him, but we'll probably need to deal with that at some point. Nah. It's fine. Second encounter with Sid Serpent, correct? Beast Wily. But sister already established superior willingness, uh, will, wildliness, wildliness attribute. Over. Hey, thanks. I think. Trophy room. I almost wrote trophy wrong. Trophy room should be trivial. Obstacle over. Wait, what? Add a key, Joey. The eyes on the prize. Keep me in the loop over and out. Alright. So now we gotta find the trophy room, which I'm guessing is here. Mm, Let's try... Maybe? That'd shake this mummy. Napoleon guy right out of his busy aesthetic. Which would be one way to get past him, but it would make an awful mess. So I just thought of something. Uh -huh. We've been clicking on everything. Yeah. We could probably click on it with the shoes also and get different dialogue that's true do we want to or are we just fine just going uh i think we're fine just going that sounds like a lot of text okay if we want to do something to see what happens it'd be fun yeah maybe we'll try it next time with, with bird, bird signs. signs see ya later Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to leave a like or comment. And if you want to keep up with everything Bird Sons, consider subscribing. See ya, everybody. Hello, Clarice. I'm being creepy right now. Oh, look at me. I'm the Homestuck character. Oh, what's that over there? Oh, frowny, smiley face. I'm so happy.